So here we are at more beach time adventures. Woohoo! Already at ep already at episode thirty, and episode thirty will unfortunately be nothing but us running around this fucking beach town. Oh, and and tsunami who I guess makes it a little bit better, but still. Yeah, he makes everything better for me, at least for me. Running around this godforsaken beach town is going to take the entire episode. I feel like this should be done to some type of Beach Boys song. It really should. It's unfortunate that we can't do that, but I'm pretty sure we would get hit with copyrights. Unless we did a really awful cover that was that you could not hear the intonation and recognize it as the same song. That's entirely possible. Is entirely possible and also not something we should inflict on the world. Because mm -hmm. if there's one thing I can sing off key, it's the Beach Boys. <laughs> I, was I don't gonna think say I've anything, ever heard you try you know, to sing the No, Beach Boys. especially the Beach Boys. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you uh, try to sing Beach Boys. Now I'm kind and of There's curious. a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm kind of curious. Oh, so this is Tsunami's version of the tower back at home. Yes. Does everyone have one of these? Yes. Um, I don't know. I think it's just a the special thing that uh, Endo and Tsunami kind of have in common. Now, did somebody else mention it too? And Natsumi also went to the tower too. Well, Natsumi and um... all the characters that I actually care about, mm -hmm. like really high places for some reason. High places are cool. And there's always another wave. And fun to jump off of. <laughs> so, wait, Tsunami's dad was a surfer too, I guess? They never really talk about these kids' families much, except Endo, who they won't shut up about his family. <laughs> so I, I did not actually know that. I kind of thought that Tsunami just sort of sprung out of the ocean. Yeah. The <laughs> oh. ocean that bore him. <laughs> I mean, that's how we met him. Yeah. Cloister, holy shit, you're remembering those guys now? How many, like, hours ago was that? A lot. But it's he's finally kind of understanding what he was talking about. A position other than goalkeeper. And oh. oh no. I no, please stay as goalkeeper, otherwise we've got Tachi Mukai. Because the game is plot driven and won't let us use a recruitable goalkeeper who's actually good. Your granddad answers you with Soccer Ball! Which is on To the Gut Fire. Also, I like how he was clearly standing somewhere else during that cutscene, and judging by the trajectory, trajectory, I think that soccer ball came out of the sky. Go? Go and he's flying. He didn't, he didn't know he was Superman. He's on a paraglider up above, and Endo just doesn't think to look up. And he's screaming out into the ocean, Will you come to practice next time? <laughs> <laughs> It's a long day. I've been hitting the head with some fiery soccer balls. Maybe it's time to take a break. <gasps> really? Endo. God, Endo. Just... Mother. How? Affer. You just said go in. <sighs> it Who was else can pick a fiery soccer ball? It's Goenji. Endo's just having issues learning how to be all back of the bus and stuff. <laughs> this is infuriating to yeah. listen to. Oh, Goenji, please come back to the team. If only so, we can start ignoring you again. <laughs> I'm not even sure how that works, but somehow it'll be better. <laughs> It'd be better to actually have you here complaining about you than listening to people complain about the fact that you're not here. Hey, we're all sleeping on the bus. Look wow. at Fubuki's little sprite. <laughs> it was so cute. And he's having traumatic uh, arguments with himself again. And now, apparently Atsua does not like... People saying the Gawenji is better? No, because he was he was brought on to replace Goendi, so I was just like, it's like I feel my position is threatened. Maybe, well, at least one of them is worried about that. The other one's like, no, I want to get to know this guy. I, I'm sorry, I finally reached that point, guys. I can't look at Asua's hair and not think of Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally happened! Oh my god! It's finally oh happened! My god. Look at Tiny Fubuki. He's so cute. Oh Is gosh, we have parents now! Oh god. Yeah. Where did Atsuya's hair come from? That's what- it's- he's fucking Wolverine! 
Oh, man. He then can't he... die. He lived on in Fubuki's mind. Uh, he is not... Wolverine. It's not quite how Wolverine works, dear. <laughs> well, yes, but this is bullshit magical soccer. Nothing works right here. That's, That's just... true. That shouldn't be the show's catchphrase. Bullshit magical <laughs> Nothing, nothing works. works right here. <laughs> it all works out in the end, but nothing works right to get there. It all works out in the end, if you're not dead. <laughs> yeah. No! Oh yeah, here's here's introducing that word that's given Fubuki so much trouble over the years. No! I believe um the Japanese equivalent word that they used was, uh, kompeki? So you- Kompeki da. No, the was a is a signifier suffix that you add at the end. The <gasps> word itself was kumpeki. But yeah, you got to hear that a lot. Also, that is apparently the sound of an avalanche. It sounds more... It does not sound like an avalanche to me. Oh, poor, poor foobs. Poor baby. Endo was already standing. He flipped around in a circle and then ran out. Yep. I don't know about you, but that's how I get up in the morning. Yeah! <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the only way to get up. Oh, shut up, other voice in Fubuki's head. Shut up, Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine, stop Endo's... rescuing Fubuki. And then Endo's passed out again. Wait, this is maybe the third time we've seen the laying down sprite. I've been keeping count. <laughs> You've been keeping count. Yes, because you said we were going to see it a lot. And then it didn't happen. Well, no, I meant his fallen down sprite, not his laying down sprite. Like, the, the sprite where he's laying face down into the ground. I know, it was a different sprite. They have two different sprites for him laying on the ground. That's almost impressive. Not that they show you show him getting out of the, uh, the sleeping sprite, because that would have been effort. Mm-hmm. So here we are, wandering around this fucking town, where we have... Actually, wait, we're not even in the town. We're at this high school. Junior high school. So it looks like that teal pants white shirt thing as a uniform because that other kid is wearing it too. Oh my god, you're right. But it doesn't have a tie or anything. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, it's probably really hot where they are. But still, I'm used to um, Japanese school uniforms having at least something else for the guys. Like, a tie. I'm really expecting there to be ties. A Muro! Hey, we got Gundam you pilots now! <laughs> yeah. You mentioned ties, and for some reason, because of the teal combination with, with Tsunami's pink hair, all I can think of is Star Driver. <sighs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, Just their uniform. Takedo Shindo is a different in this game. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, Takedo. <laughs> Sir cries a lot. Um, that chick name is Kian. That's a weird name. It was either the lighthouse or not the lighthouse. Really specific, kid. Really specific. Thanks. We, we picked up some good tips here. Yeah, see, even Endo was like, that was fucking useless. <laughs> Rinka is the girl's name, actually. But, but they listed her as Kian. So Rinka might, be... might, might, Rinka might be her first name, Kian's the last name. Or it might be the other way around. But it but seems it's... like she knows something. Oh yeah, because we didn't like totally see her wandering around with some guy in a hoodie. Right, orange hoodie. Yeah. That wasn't Hiroto. <laughs> yes. Oh, Which means it can only be. Hiroto, we miss you. Otomura! I like Otomura. Otomura is freaking amazing. He's a, he's a pretty chill dude. I wish he would stop saying bum da dum dum dum. Like, actually. Well, he's, he's keeping in time with his beats on his headphones. Well, yeah, but he could at least do a decent beatbox or something. Well, how can you do it when you can't really hear a voice? You can come up with sound effect noises for a beatbox. Allow me to type a beatbox for you. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be interesting to see. You mean read? Let's try and catch her up. The coach slowly Saunters walks. Behind. So, so we've got... back to town. Again. Again. Food spare on Cobra. You're, you're also going to see about 20 encounters, at least. Yeah, the encounter rate seems to have spiked in this area, which is nice because you get a lot of chances to play against people and level up, but at the same time, it's just like, God, okay. leave me alone. If you don't pay- well, A, it makes this hey, whole look. thing even more tedious than it oh needs to be. Oh my god. Oh look, it happens to be a cleat-shaped charm. 
Oh we haven't goodness. seen that before! Who does that belong to? Hmm, it appears to be in the shape of a shocker shoe! <laughs> I would hope you'd forgotten about that. What are you talking about? I was the one who fucked that up. <laughs> Thank you, Otsuya. And Otsuya's like, stuff is fishy. I like how Fubuki is playing detective with himself. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you know, that would be a show all on its own. There are so few competent people on this team that Fubuki is playing double time. <laughs> Local crisps. Mm, They're very... Crisps. Moorish. For a moment I thought he said Morishi, which would have been like an actual word. <laughs> and I would have been like, why isn't that translated? <laughs> also, what is that doing in that sentence? But hey, you know. Mm. I I'm guessing you still have Fubuki as striker right now. Uh, Taka, what's her name, is midfielder and Kogure is defender. I knew it was Taka something. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, I'm just saying it. I just remembered Hawk was in her name. That's really the only way I can remember people is what animals randomly in their name. <laughs> Granted, it's it's a pretty good running theory. To Isn't her name translated into Sparrow in the dub? It is, yeah. actually. Which they got wrong. Sparrow is a completely different word. And I know this... Actually, I think from attempting to read Air Gear at one point. <laughs> the thing you remember. I am trying to remember. Am I lost? I think I am. Excellent! That's exactly what this needed. Lots of wandering around talking to people because you're lost. <laughs> Granted, this is emulating a very real experience of what you have in this town and the active encounter rate that you will come across because of this friggin' town. Yeah, so if the. See? It's, see? Encounter rate. I fucking hated it. Um, but, uh, yeah, if the events don't sway you over, if you don't like the music, if you don't like the way the place looks, you're not gonna have a fun time here. As many of you who have already played this game should already know. You walk around with shiny golden badges, Nami? He does. Oh, he's bribing small children to do his work for him! I like this kid. <laughs> I, I suddenly like Su I like Tsunami, but suddenly he just like jumped on my chart. This yeah, is definitely. <laughs> Rabbit little kid. It's awesome. Have the urchins do your work for you. This is exactly what I would do. I would want to do in his position. Yes, Tsunami, command the sea urchins <laughs> to do your biddings. <laughs> the king of the sea, sea urchins. urchins. The urchins. <laughs> yes. That's what he should name his gang. Clearly, Who's Tsunami it? needs to start a gang in the future. Yes, and Otomoro can be a second in command. Yeah, Otomoro will just sit there and hum ominously. <laughs> and Tachimukai will be randomly standing next Tachi to Tsunami. No, Tachimukai will be getting lost somewhere. It's fucking Tachi. He'll be running around with the urchins doing Tsunami's bidding. Probably. That weird whirlpool. Yeah, can we, like, go chuck a soccer ball in that whirlpool and see what happens? Maybe a flaming one? Yeah, just, just you know, test this theory of uh, Goenji randomly saving people from falling in the whirlpools. Quick, Endo, go fall in the whirlpool. You'll find a guy in a Goenji. hood. Well, he could be an assassin. Just saying. <laughs> Don't know, no boods and hoods. Boods and hoods. Boys and hoods. And hoods. <laughs> boots and hoods. You don't know about the boys in the hood? <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently Otomoro doesn't. They don't have any gangs in this town except the one that Tsunami's starting. Rink has been acting a little strange lately. You think she don't think she's been kidnapped, have right, you? The dude like... in the hood. And she's walking around free because she's kidnapped? It's all a trick. She has Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> Stockholm syndrome. I don't know, salt and tea may not be the worst thing as long as you only put like a little bit in. And off he goes. Man, now I want tea. I'm gonna make some white tea when I get home. I don't know about you guys. Everything else in my house is caffeinated. Yeah, Tsunami, you forgot about bribing the small children. I think he's a little bit too overly, like, emotional. Aw, oh, no, now the kid's crying. You left him with a crying kid! Aww. Just give him some candy or something. Kabayama, do something. Thank you. At least small children are very easily pacified. Now Kabayama starts crying. <laughs> this is, uh, retarded. Oh my god, it's Goenji! <gasps> oh, finally! We're gonna- we're gonna put two and two together, right? 
Yeah, I think we finally done it. We at least got three and a half. He said most of his name. I'm gonna count it. We're rounding up. <laughs> That's the best we can do with Endo. Round up. So when is Foobs gonna show us the thing that he found when he bumped into clearly not Goenji? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm sure he'll whip that out. Uh, when Goenji refuses to join our team and will be like, well, does this mean anything to you or something like that? And it'll be all like, but your sister wants you to play soccer, etc., etc. Just I... like the last time! Yeah, it'll be exactly like the last time. Goenji, do we have to go in circles so much? Except this time yeah. it'll be Fubuki instead of Kido in the cutscene or whatever. Just, just break down the door, Tsunami. I have faith in you. <laughs> See, the girls wear ribbons, but the guys don't wear any ties. That's just weirding me out. Also, he's allowed to wear his headphones at school, apparently. Not that, you know, Stop head accessories. Stop that on that wood, man! That phrase. Um, not that head accessories has stopped anyone in the Inazuma. Wow, that is yeah. a charred football. I was about to say that's a tiny football, but then I realized it was Kabayama holding it. Yeah. I was about to say that football is like a child's football. No, no, you it's idiot. It's burnt black, you fucking... Oh, thank God, at least Keto's oh, not blind. <laughs> thank you, Keto. Thank you. The Cape of Wisdom. <laughs> the Cape of Wisdom. That is his new superhero name, folks. The Cape of Wisdom. And Ross, uh, you shut up. And the Goggles of Perseverance. <laughs> the Cape of Wisdom. <laughs> and the Goggles of Perseverance. No, it up. sounds like he's wearing D&D &D equipment or something. The boy in the hood must be Koenji. Holy shit, thank you for putting it together. And now Fubuki's like, eh, I bumped into someone like that. Does and I, and I, and I stole his stuff because it was shiny. <laughs> Fubuki. When Atsuya sees shiny things, he has to pick them up, man. Yeah, among, among his other problems, he's also a klepto. <laughs> or he's just been kicking it a lot. This is end Wow, now Kamiyama stepping up here. Now he could definitely break down the door. There's a window over there that you guys could probably just get through. I mean, Kabayama might not be able to fit through it, but the rest of you can do it. And he could certainly lift people into it. Exactly. Just like, you know, throw Kido. He can, like, jump through, like, Batman or something. <laughs> Batman, Kido. Well, he's got the cape. Why are you... No, please, we've already spent so many minutes confirming that, yes, this is... Yes, Goenji. Otomura! We know! <laughs> oh, please, don't make this last longer. Hear that, Sue? Jump to conclusions, man. I don't know, maybe Goenji would kidnap someone in extenuating circumstances. Also, this rhyming is really killing me. I would just like to point that out. I find it funny. But I love his eyes. They're like this bright purple. And they don't have a proper pupil and they're kind of freaky. I think it's kind of awesome. Tsunami, where are you? Yeah, they're like what she said. <laughs> oh, the coach has the key. Why didn't we fucking get the key in the first place? Oh my god, do we have to walk all the way back? I think we do. Sounds exciting. By which I mean more encounters. By which I mean... <laughs> See, the problem with this area is... You've noticed when we've been running around, there haven't been a whole lot of save points in the areas we've been running back and forth to, so eventually you're gonna run out of TP and probably not notice. And then you're going to start losing. Yeah, it's happened. It happened to me when I first played this area. That's what happened to me, exactly. It happens this time, too, but I think it, it was mostly edited out for the sake of your dignity. Thank you. Thank you. This area is such a bugger. I mean, I guess those are hibiscuses. Hib Wait, what is the plural of hibiscus? It's not hibiscus, is it? That would I... just be weird. Yeah. I don't know. I'm confused. But Could anyways- just be like moose? How moose is both singular and pure plural? I thought That's you were about to say a different words. So <laughs> plural? Plural? I thought you were about to say- Oh, there's the save point, at least. What's for for point. moose? Moose. Yeah, it, it, it might be hibiscus and hibiscus. Well, you know, the plural of many much moose. <laughs> the, the plural of mouse used to be moose, so there's this whole thing of that's actually why moose doesn't have a plural. It's because it used to be the plural of another word, and then things got confusing, and then we ended up with uh, mouse and mice. Okay. Mises and strawberry fleeces. Yeah, kind of like that. He came at me like a tsunami. What, tsunami? 
Yeah, go figure, man. <laughs> I do value my life, you know. So you you were that seriously threatened by one of your students? He's like, what, 14? Yes. Even I could deck a 14-year-old. <laughs> but, dude, that hair, it like, it's gonna attack you or something. It, it will, it will, it will latch onto your face and suck it right off. You just got a move called Dragon Cannon. Please tell me you use it because it sounds fabulous. Oh, it is, it is certainly a fabulous technique. I forget who I teach it to, however. I hope we see it in the next, in the next match that isn't something we're required to lose and fuck these random encounters. Oh, Believe me, I was moving slowly because I was like, God, if I move any slower, will I trigger them? Now you're having to switch out your party. You switch it out for a lower level person. Oh, that might be why you lose a bit later, too. There's a good possibility. Oh my uh, God, it's like a female keto. That's kind of freaky. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the triple C girls. The I, I know, it was, it was Rika and Rika. So that's the chick. But like her on-field sprite, you can, does not, you, it looks like a dude. Because I'm used to seeing keto. The puppy caused a random encounter. I hate. I yeah, hate. There, I hate. There's the one you lost, and the dog witnessed your shame. 